My name is Dian Gawalaku Lake. I was born in Liberia, that's West Africa, and I came here when I was five because it was like a civil war going on. He's come out and been open about how some things come a little bit harder to him as far as school and learning, and he's a, a kid that is really the epitome of putting your head down and just working hard at something. Lyman in there as well, they pitch it, and it's a touchdown for BYU. That's Skowolaku, a quarterback, who is in there at running back getting the touchdown. We saw my mom for the first time. She picks us up at the Salt Lake Airport, and we're just like, amazed just like this place is big you know the minute i saw them get off the plane the minute i saw diane with connected eyes he just kind of melted my heart so he was scared he was just quiet couldn't say anything me and my sister is our first time seeing like white people so we're just like what the heck is this this lady's taking our hands like taking us to a car so we didn't know what was going on and it was just a culture shock the environment like i said i was switching the light switch off and on because it's all new to me seeing light, table, food. They brought us like chicken noodle soup. That was like our first meal we ate. And we also had to learn English, so it was hard to understand them and communicate. So we were just freaked out until my dad actually came back to Utah and was like explaining everything to us. Everything was gonna be good. I said, if you do come here, you have to work hard. You have to go to school, do everything you can. Quickly batted up and intercepted. Did they get it? If they got it, it's over. It's over. The Cougars picked it up. Every game, I would write him a memo or a letter. I said, remember where you came from, remember what I told you. So you play this game, you play with all your heart, you'll be successful. And that's what he always do, play with all your heart. Big hit. Ball's out. Cougars got it. Guadalupe to the end zone. Touchdown. His story to his teammates and to the players is really a story of just triumph over difficulty, just having determination, and he's been fun to be around just because the odds were really against him as far as coming to a tough academic school. He's the kind of guy that when you give him a challenge, he'll just, he'll surpass it, he'll, he'll overcome anything. And I probably made the mistake, which I think now is a good challenge, and just basically told him that, hey, a lot of people don't think he can make it here because school's so hard. That was the last we ever worried about his academics. Refuse to be outworked, whether it's um, weight room, running sprints, or whatever the case may be, and classroom as well. You know, a guy who, who came in, an underdog as far as academic goes. He's really done a good job just fighting through all the things that he's had to and not really looking at it as a crutch, but something that's just determined him to get through his education. Diane has an incredible commitment to the contact of football. Maybe as much or more than any player I've ever coached. He really enjoys, with a smile, the contact part of the game. I just really like to hit, like, that's the one thing that separated, like, football and soccer. Like I said, I used to play soccer when I was little on a competitive team, and I had to, like, decide which one. Football just really stood out to me. It's just, I'm like, you get to hit kids? Like, you get to hit other people? Like, and it's legal? I'm like, I got it for sure. <laughs> I got it for sure stick with football. Like, because soccer, I used to get, like, Penalties call on me just like for shoving little kids and everything's a foul on me. Like, so football, that was never the problem. Rewarded, obviously, for hitting kids. And I was like, I like that. A lot of guys will muster the courage necessary to make the play at the moment. A lot of guys enjoy being the aggressor when the angle is correct to, to make contact. Diane enjoys all contact, never flinches. It's particularly amongst DBs. I think there's, he's one of the best there is getting married to my wife, Madison. But that was like one of the biggest highlights because she changed my life for sure. Because even here, I still, like I said, I was focused, but I wasn't all the way there focused in school or football, really. And getting married to her uh, last year, she just kept me in like a straight line, like had me organized and take care of my homework before I even like think about anything else, like video games, stuff like that. She was always there to love me and take care of me. And she deserves the world. And that was just like a big highlight in my life. And she's. She's like one of those ride or die girls. Like I said, she gives me that energy to, and motivates me and pushes me to do better in my life. I remember telling him once that doors would open and things would happen and that he would just be amazed with his family and, and the people back home and, and all those things if he continued to do what he needed to do and be strong in it. Remember your heritage. Remember 
those that fought for you to be here where you are. You walk on the shoulders of giants. So be proud of whatsoever, wherever your son or daughter coming from. You have proud in him as a human being first. Secondly, you should have pride in him for what he is. He will always be on that and become somebody better in the future.